Okay guys, so I'm back with Nisha 208 in the color DR Sienna Copper. And guys, this color is gorgeous. I remember when Nisha Soft and Natural first came out and I was dying to get one in this color. I don't think I got one in this color. Well, earlier on, I'm not, probably have reviewed this color before. I just don't remember and I'm too lazy to check, but <laughs> I just remembered when the whole Soft and Natural came out I really wanted this color and I don't think I got it because maybe it was sold out or something. I don't remember but I didn't get it but I'm so happy to get this color. It's so gorgeous and that's the main color on the model. That one and the what's that called? Dark cherry. Black cherry sorry. The DR black cherry is really really pretty. Hopefully you guys can see it. I'll put it up right here. Hopefully you can see it, but it comes in so many other colors, including the four gray shades that I um, mentioned in the first review. So there's four different gray shades or salt and pepper shades. Just in case you want to try that, you can definitely do so. And it comes in one, one, B and number two as well. But guys, let's get into this because there's some things we need to talk about about this one. All right. First of all, I'm going to be making this into a giveaway like I told you in my last review. So if you do want to participate in the giveaway, make sure to follow the rules. It will be pinned in the comment section down below. Once you enter, the winner will be announced this upcoming Friday in the giveaway announcement video that will be up at 6 p.m. So once you participate in any of the giveaways this week, please make sure to watch the giveaway announcement video at 6 p.m. All right, 6 p.m. on Friday please watch it okay so anyway guys um like i was saying let's get into it so first of all it's an hd transparent lace wig i did go in with my lace and spray on this one and i added it to the lace just to color it some more so that way i didn't have to go in with any powder along the hairline to blend it in or anything like that all i did was added powder to the part it's a pre-plucked part clear enough straight out the box so all i had to do was add powder also it came with baby hairs i did cut a teensy bit more into it but it wasn't anything like you know it wasn't a lot because as you can tell the baby hairs are pretty natural it's not so thick so so I just cut it a little bit more into it and I laid that down. In terms of the cap, you get two combs up front, one at the back, the adjustable straps, and it's a regular cap construction. However, it's very comfortable and it fits pretty good. I would say it's medium to large in cap size because of how it fits. And guys, you know the texture of this hair, okay? It's a soft, natural texture, okay? So you know you have that little crinkles going on and stuff like that. So if you were to add any heat to it, you have to be very careful because I did had add some heat up top, of course. I always go in with a little bit of heat ar around the parting space and especially when you have like a natural textured wig like this you always have some type of um, hump or something close to the parting space so most times you could just go in with uh, um, what do you call it the blow dryer and just you know flatten it down I think that would allow it not to get as straight but if you don't have that just be careful with your flat iron or your hot comb or whatever you use but guys you know the texture is very very soft my fingers are flowing through it really easy normally with a wig like this you would get a lot of snags and stuff like that and tangling but there's no tangling there's no snags in this the only issue and that's what I got to talk about <laughs> The only issue I have with this is the shedding, okay? This thing shedded. Like, I wasn't expecting it to shed that much. And I'm going to show you guys for proof. And let me just say this. I am the type of person that can't keep a dirty brush. Like, I have to clean my brush. Even, like, now, the fact that it's like this, I will remove this, clean it completely before I even start the next review. Even if I don't, you know, the next one probably wouldn't shed or whatever. I just can't stand to see my brush dirty. So I clean it every single time after use. And this is what I got. Look, it's falling out actually. This is what I got from just this wig, okay? I'm just saying that I clean it all the time. Just so you know, this came from this wig alone. No other wig. So there's no other hair in there. But there's a lot of hair. Like even wrapped around the brush, there's like hair is there. There's a lot of hair. Okay, so it's shedded way more than I expected it to. Like, I really wasn't expecting it to shed that much. I mean, it's stopped. It's stopped for now. Like, I can run my fingers through it. Let me see. I might get, like, a few strands, but not 
crazy like what I got initially you know so keep that in mind you may get some shedding once you first brush it out but after a while it will stop or it will like slow down <laughs> it wouldn't be as much so keep that in mind but anyway guys if you would like to purchase this wig the link would be in the description box down below so click on the link it will take you directly to the website you can choose your color and purchase from there hopefully it's in stock by the time this is up because I know a lot of them sold out um, by the time we got them in but hopefully it will be in stock by the time this video is up but thank you guys so so much for watching if you have any questions leave it down below i will answer you as soon as possible like subscribe follow us on all the social media accounts everything is at wake types and i'll definitely see you soon bye